The new KPIX 5 News at 7 starts right now with pesticide concerns about a favorite superfood. Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Let's get right to KPIX 5's Andrea Borba and the new report that put kale on what's called the dirty dozen list. Andrea? Well, Ken and Elizabeth, the move from healthy to dirty has everything to do with one thing, pesticides. Kale, it's gone from unloved member of the produce aisle to superstar status, both Instagrammable and hashtagable. I have it in smoothies often. I eat a lot of my vegetables raw with salads, so I just mix it in with my other greens. The leafy veggie also has a new, more dubious distinction, landing at the number three spot of the Environmental Working Group's Dirty Dozen list due to pesticides. Studies link pesticides to a host of human health problems, including brain and nervous system toxicity, also hormone disruption, even cancer have been linked to uh, pesticides. The data comes from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which thoroughly washes and peels fruits and vegetables before testing. Samara Geller of the EWG says the pesticide problem cannot be rinsed off. Washing the fruit will potentially help. Uh, but it's not going to get rid of the problem. We can't wash uh, our problems away that way because the pesticides are taken in through the flesh of the product. The data is news to some kale lovers we found at Fort Mason. We don't know how our bodies are going to react to those toxins. I'm surprised because I think that it is a healthier vegetable, so I do try to eat it more than I typically would. Among the pesticides found in kale in the USDA study is dactyl. The EPA classified dactyl as a possible human carcinogen, but it's also banned in Europe since 2009. Some ag groups have countered that dactyl is legal according to the EPA, but Samara says the problem is that those legal levels are set on data from adults. The problem with the tolerances set by the EPA is that they're often set far too high to be protective of children's health. Now, Ken and Liz, this is not an excuse not to eat your kale or not to eat the vegetables on the dirty dozen list. The Environmental Working Group simply suggests in those cases with those fruits and vegetables that you go organic instead. All right. Good advice. Thank you, Andrea.